Let's start with the biggest and the grandest of them all, and that is Boeing. You know that in its early years, it used to be an airline as well, and in 1934, it spun off United Airlines. But Boeing, of course, now is the world's largest aircraft and aerospace manufacturer. So it is the company that manufactures all of the aircraft that started with the 247 and then went through the 747 and the mm. 707 and the 727 and the 737 and the 767. <laughs> and currently we've got the Dreamliner, which yes. is the 787. Correct. But hold that thought. We're also looking at a company here, which is a major military aerospace mm. manufacturer. So satellites, rockets for NASA, mm. and then all sorts of military kit, yeah. bombers, etc., etc. Based in Seattle in the United States of America. Market capitalization, $83.3 billion. So that's pretty hefty. Price to earnings ratio, 24.5. Dividend yield, 3.27. Mm. First glance, how does it look? Yeah, massive company. Um, what, what, what I like about them compared to many of the other airlines we're going to discuss is that they are they, they can dictate the price, price for their goods and services to a large mm. demand. There's captive demand and the, the new iterations of these aircraft that they release, if they're more fuel efficient, they're going to have orders for them, right? So what happens is then people say, crumbs, I cannot afford not to upgrade my fleet because I can get a fuel cost saving, so I must go to the 787s. They become Plus, less competitive. People like the aeroplanes and they want to yes. book when they're used and it's a much more pleasant in-flight experience. Correct, and you've got the training of the pilots specific to, to these type of aircraft. The 787, as you mentioned, and 737, massively profitable and huge cash cars at the moment. Mm. And, and the demand is there. They've got $500 billion in backlog, in order book. Yeah. So, you know, they've got demand for days. And it's just about rolling that out as effective they as possible. They have had, though, some delays in getting the Dreamliner yes. up. I mean, they have sort of issues in terms of all of the complex manufacturing sure. that goes into these and, things. And that will always happen. The, 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 the kind mm. of drag on profitability is the 777 at the moment. So they're oh, really? trying to... Move, move across to that. Let's have a look at the share chart. Mm. Uh, that will reveal a pretty healthy looking chart. Its all time high was about $158. That was previously prior to this period, I guess probably back in 2006, 2007. Mm. But it doesn't look too bad since then. And I guess that's because of the strong order book and the fact that people are liking it. It's on a 25, basically, price to earnings ratio. That yeah. tells you people's expectations for future Correct. profits that are fairly firm. Yeah. One big question that I have remaining in my head is US military spending yes. and the space program. Yeah. We know that like US government is very committed to defense spending, but mm. maybe Hillary Clinton will be less so if she's elected president. Is that an issue? And NASA seems to have sort of run out of road a bit. I yeah. mean, short of wanting to go to Mars and that sort mm. of thing, no one wants to go into space anymore. Yeah, I, I think you're right. I think in the US, there's a few question marks on those defense budgets and those um, space budgets, but they, they're seeing military demand in areas in Europe and Asia and that type of thing. So mm. it's offsetting it to a degree. I think for me the problem is the, the multiple. You, you, you're going to pay 25 times earnings for what, what is fairly consistent, but you, you don't have any buffer if they don't get things right there. Mm. So hot or not? Uh, I, I like the company. I'm just, just, just not mad about it at these multiples, so not hot mm. for me. You know, I'm going to tip hot. I just have this feeling that perhaps the net aircraft sales mm. are going to finally come through uh, in line or better than expectations. Okay. But I'll give you that. It's mm. not uh, inexpensive at current yeah. levels. Yeah. But I feel like I've got to be hot about at least one of the stocks. <laughs>